Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Coop, and I'm back. And I was playing some uh, my, uh, Call of Duty World at War just because uh, I felt like changing it up. Uh, I never really uh, played too much of it, and then I started playing a little bit when I bought it like about a month ago, and then I stopped. I, I literally only played it for like a, a week, and uh, it's it's just hard hard to find a game that um, where you're not uh, bombarded with infection. And that's just the, the the truth of the game now. It sucks, but there's not much you can do about it. Um, because obviously they're not interested in fixing it and whatever, for whatever reason. Um, well, you can't expect them to keep maintenance on the game forever. And they've already had a game that's been out for almost a year now. So... Um, the main reason for this commentary... Um, which I will get to in a minute, actually. Um, sorry, I wanted to give an, uh, an apology for all the people that actually watch my videos. And uh, I haven't given uh, a lot of videos to in, a, in the past little while. Uh, the reason the reason uh, was is... Part of the reason was is that uh, I was taking a little bit of a break uh, from doing commentaries. Not that I'm bored with it. Not with that uh, I need a break. It's just, uh, well... You need a break from anything. If you do something too much and you don't take a break from it, what you're going to do is you're going to make yourself sick of it. And then if you're sick, you're sick and you're just, uh, you feel like, uh, uh, you just, you feel like it's just, it's too constant. I don't know. I can't figure the words for it. Um, you just don't want to do it anymore, basically. You get sick of it. You don't want to do it anymore. And uh, I wasn't getting sick of it so much, but I was kind of taking a little bit of a break. And um, I had some uh, really good gameplays I got last week on Cold Duty Black Ops. And I, uh, I wanted to spend a lot of time editing those videos, so that's what I did. I edited one for you guys, and I edited some for other channels. Because um, I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my videos out there, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm doing my best to do so. And, all right, now... What is what is a commentary? These days, a commentary isn't what it's supposed to be. A commentary. What is the definition of a commentary? Is it when you're commentating over top of your gameplay, over top of anything? It can be over top. Commentaries. There's commentaries in movies. They're commentating over the situation, describing what's going on in the situation. That's usually what happens. And comment. Nobody does those anymore. And I'm not. I'm not. In no way am I trying to say that, uh, you know, I'm the only one or whatever that does it because I don't do it at all. I never did. Um, part of the reason was because I didn't really have, um, I couldn't watch one of my own gameplays and uh, explain my uh, my reflexes and a lot of uh, my subconscious because a lot of the, the a lot of the a lot of your reactions in games. Is uh, all sub all subconscious, and it's all based off of reflex. So, like, I may do certain things in a game, and I know why I'm doing it while I'm doing it, and uh, but I can't. It's it's hard for me to explain. I don't really think of it as in in a, a sentence form. Like, I don't sit back and think, oh, this is the reason I'm doing this, and this is the reason I'm doing that. Um, I don't think of it in, as in words, as in full, you know, sentences. I think of the situation as it is. I just think of movements and, uh, you know, best uh, possibilities for coming out of this situation successful. And by doing that, I just, I can't, I can't do regular commentaries. Like, not regular, like the ones that they're supposed to be where I'm talking about what the fuck's going on. Right here, here I'll talk about what's going on. Right here I'm trying to shoot this guy. He's got Juggernaut. I fucking hate Juggernaut. So I'm trying to not give him a clear sight by moving side to side whether it's popping up uh, from different uh, spots behind the fence so he's not gonna be able to see me behind the fence so what I'm gonna do, what I try and do is I try and pop up now the only reason I was lying down there is part part of the reason was because I knew that the guy was coming so what I did was I lied down there um, he he they knew where I was there because they were a few of them were firing at me trying to get my uh, trying to kill me and so what I did was I lied down, anticipating that he would run out, give a little bit of a lead. You never want to aim directly at the edge of the fence because 
part partly with lag and partly with um, uh, just your own reflexes, the sensitivity that you're at. You're going to want to give a little bit of leeway because you want to lead the target. That's basically what I'm getting at is in most cases, especially uh, first person shooters, because there's so much going on in the gameplay, there's a little bit of lag. So if you aim perfectly every time, unless you're hosting, you're not going to get that hit marker. You're not going to you're not going to get that connection. Um, so it's always best to lead your target. In that situation, what I was doing was I was just basically I got five kills and I was trying to get seven. So I was like, all right, I waited up there. I needed one more. I got uh, I got my dogs and then I decided, all right, that's time to move on. Originally, when I first started playing Call of Duty, I would just, you know, if I got on a kill streak, I wanted to get the biggest kill streak I could. I didn't want to, you know, reset, die, and you know, reset my kill streaks. Actually. Uh, in Call of Duty 4, I did a little bit because you could uh, your kill streaks, your previous kill streaks would build up onto your next ones. So they don't, they didn't pile up though, which is the only shitty part. But they would uh, uh, lead towards your next one if you called it in after you would respawn. So that's what I would do a lot of the time is uh, I would get my seven kills. Uh, but the oh, I played a lot of hardcore. So what it, what we did is I'd get your teammate to shoot you because you never got a death. You didn't get a death in Call of Duty 4 uh, if a teammate killed you. You can only get him to do it a couple of times before he would they they would punish him for team killing by causing him to die. So you can only get him to do it twice. But you could get like a, a beast game with like two or three choppers and only have two deaths. You know. So sometimes we did that and. Uh, Sometimes it worked out, and you could get like a retarded gameplay. Although it is kind of cheap, it's kind of cheating the system, so it's not really. See, that was dead on shot, but, and so was that. But because I didn't lead the target, it never went through. I have, a, I have a just, me, just like many others, I have a problem, um, just aiming where I think it should kill the person, and uh, it never works. Especially, actually, mainly tonight, I. Uh, got into this this game and just my connection wasn't the greatest but the reason I stuck with it was because there was no fucking infection so I was like you know what I'll deal with it there's no infection and there wasn't a lot of juggernaut there's only like one or two dudes so I was willing to deal with it anyways that's my commentary I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this is Lex Scoops saying rate comment subscribe